this is going to be another one of those little scrapbooky. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's going to be another one of those little scrapbooky, vloggy kind of videos. Again, I've got a few drawing processes to put in there. <coughs> Come here. A lot of beachy stuff and some beachy themed drawings. And also, hello. <laughs> oh and also a little bit of a cowgirl drawing to start us off. Let's go. <laughs> so this drawing came about, um, it was something I was thinking about for a few days. You might have seen in my previous video, we went to visit my horse, Ben, who had his foot in a cast. At the moment, we're not really sure how his healing progress is going. Um, there's been a few scary moments where he's gone really lame and I've just absolutely panicked and thought that I'm going to lose him, which is a real possibility, but hopefully um, a narrowing possibility. But. I just had a really horrible night. Um, I think it was one of the nights that it was also a full moon. I couldn't sleep every hour I woke up and worried and cried um, and just had a lot to think about. <laughs> and it's funny for me, you know, I'm in my mid to late thirties and I'm still crying over a pony. So it's sort of a funny thing that I feel um, kind of strongly about, kind of silly about. But anyway, I was just thinking about this little sad cowgirl crying under the moon. And I thought it would make a really sweet little drawing, even though it's a sad kind of concept. But it's just kind of what I was feeling at the time. And I think it's important that our art sort of transforms the things that are on our mind into things that exist in the real world. It's part of the meditation of the creative process. Just working through whatever you're thinking about. I try not to worry too much that it's kind of a silly concern. I know a lot of people and a lot of places in the world at the moment are going through far, far worse calamities. But also we kind of have very little control over what we deem important or what we sort of feel or respond to in the world as important. So I try not to judge myself too harshly on that kind of thing or, um, you know, try and measure against greater woes just is what it is I was just feeling a little bit like a sad cowgirl under the moon <laughs> anyway this is what came out um, I really liked this process and I liked the way it came out it sort of came together really easily which is always a nice feeling when you draw because that's not always the way it works it's also part of a project I'm trying to finish this sketchbook that I've had forever the paper is not really great to draw on so I'm just trying to get through it and fill in all the pages. So this was a win for me. We've been spending a little bit of time, not heaps at the beach over this summer, um, but we've been spending a lot of time looking for crabs and fishing with my son. He is super fishing mad. I think I've talked about it before, um, which has been inspiring a little bit of fish drawing that's coming into my work. Um, we've been away on a few camping trips and adventures up and down the coast. We're so lucky to live on a part of the Australian coast where there's just so many places to visit and they're all kind of quiet most of the time. Um, we're pretty far from major cities, so we're not really a day trip destination from Sydney or Brisbane or anything like that. So um, during the off season, it's pretty quiet to go to any of those places. So it's been nice getting our seasonal fill of beach visits. And that kind of translated into the drawing that I've been working on. It's another one of my weekly drawings from my 2024 drawing challenge, which is drawing one drawing a week which I am super far behind on already. I was doing so well. I think I made it to about 10 weeks and then I've sort of dropped off. So I'm, I've got to try and catch up, I guess. Anyway, so obviously this is the weekly drawing that was inspired by all those beach trips. 
Um, now that I think about it, I think I want to do a crab drawing as well. I just love drawing crabs. I'm a true Cancerian. Um, we'll get to that a bit later in this video though, actually, my love of crabs and drawing crabs. So each one of these little drawings I kind of think of as carrying a message or an idea. Um, I attribute a word to each one. And with this one, I was kind of thinking again about the uncovering or the finding of something again, kind of with a souvenir idea, which is something I talked about in the previous video. Um, one of the cow skull drawings that I added to this collection. It was a little bit about a souvenir, but it was kind of in a different context. Um, it was a bit more like a legacy idea. This one's kind of a bit more like a joyful uncovering or discovery of something that you'd like to keep and carry with you. So that's my idea for that one. Okay, we're about to begin with the crab content. I am such a stereotypical Cancerian and I do love crustaceans. My son also loves them. He's obsessed with hunting crabs around the rocks and the beaches of places that we go to. This one was the most amazing thing I've found washed up on a beach. It is a decorator crab. It was all dried out and he's covered in all his decorations. How amazing. And we're not even done with all the crab content. There's something coming at the end, which is quite funny and was kind of unbelievable when it happened, but we'll get to that later. This drawing is actually from a little bit of a while back and I can really see how there's been some changes in my work. I feel like it's got to be only about six months ago that I did this, but it, look, that's Goldie. That's my littlest, littlest baby. Um, more crab content. Soldier crabs, are they nightmare fuel or are they super cool? I love them. I've loved them since I was a kid. I think they're funny. I think they're so weird. You can pick them up really easily, um, but they sort of look like little spiders. I'm not sure. Let me know if you find them creepy. Maybe they're creepy. Anyway, um, yeah, what I was saying is it's got to be only about six months ago that I worked on this drawing and I feel like my style, my process has changed a lot. Not so much from this um, little landscape drawing that's sort of a little bit weird for me anyway. Um, so I'm not really counting it in this comparison, but there's part of me that would sort of love to do a redraw of this page and see if I did it differently now. Um, it's just fun watching your own growth and tracking your progress as you change with your creative process. absolutely surprising all of us when he did. That is unbridled excitement coming out of the water there. And that is a cute baby mud crab. They, their pinches um, are very, very strong. They can really hurt you if they get you. 
This one's only little, probably not much bigger than the size of my hand, but you still wouldn't want to put your fingers too close. And we just had a little look at it and let it go back into the creek. It made my son's year, pretty much, this catch. Oh, and I did mean to say thank you for being here. If you would like to like, comment, subscribe, please do. I really appreciate it. And I really love making these videos and sharing them with you.